So I'm home early from work. I got this walnut. It has a crotch up here. I guess it's probably about seven foot long. I paid 60 bucks for it. There's another about a four foot piece that I cut off uh, in the trailer. But like I said, I'm home, home early. I'm gonna try to cut this up. I managed to get it off the trailer. You can see the drag marks from the uh, from the wheels on the engine hoist, but I'm trying. I'm gonna try to change them out and get some five inch uh, poly polyurethane wheels. You know, each wheel has to hold at least a thousand pounds. So uh, I just haven't ordered them yet, but I wanted to see if I could do it, and I'm, I managed to muscle it over and get it on here. So here shortly, I'm gonna go ahead and try to. Uh, cut up and see what I got. I've, I've never cut walnut up before. I mean, I'm limited to what I've cut. I've only cut like five different species. So this ought to be pretty interesting. It has a big vine growing on it. I've been pulling that off as I can. You know, once I get this cut, we go back over to the trailer. I got a 10 foot piece of poplar. I have two 13 and a half foot pieces of pine I'm gonna turn into two by fours. Unless I get in there and find out that they're really pretty, then I'll turn them into five quarter stock. I have a, that's the terrible end that I cut off the walnut. You can see it had some, some issues, so I cut that off. Um, here's some cherry, little cherry piece with some crotch, and that's another cherry piece with some crotch. And I try to get the bigger one, this one over here, I'm gonna try to get that one on the saw. This one I might just try to use my chainsaw for and cut it and get a bowl blank or two out of. But there's the poplar. It's a pretty big one. It's it's got a a bow in it, so I had to you know waste some material to, to get to the camp. But uh, like I say, I, I'm I got home early today, and there's our Kia sitting over there. They're supposed to be sending a tow truck to take it over to their shop and see if it's something that's their fault that the engine sees, or of course you know it's going to be my fault and it's going to cost me a bazillion dollars to get it fixed. I'll probably just take it and get rid of it. I mean, I don't have the money to put an engine in the car. And I really don't want to leave it sit there and you know, keep tags and insurance on it. So anyway, that's enough about that. But I'll get back to you once I start getting some cuts made on this walnut. See ya.